minister denounced what he called acts there is widespread condemnation from politicians following a night of violence in Montreal. Pro-Palestinian and anti-NATO demonstrations turned violent Friday night as NATO delegates meet for the annual assembly. Protesters clashed with riot police. Cars burned and windows smashed in the chaos. Three people were arrested. The Prime Minister denounced what he called acts of anti-Semitism, a claim protesters deny. CTV's Jeremy Sharon starts us off. A Friday night protest in Montreal turned destructive. Cars on fire, smoke bombs launched, and windows smashed at downtown businesses. An escalation of what started as pro-Palestinian and anti-NATO protests, which filled the streets of downtown Montreal as NATO officials gathered to meet in the city. At the end, we have a group that organized, it wasn't there for the cars, it was there just to destroy the windows, the cars, and we really there, they were there to do some criminal act. Police say three protesters were arrested, one officer suffered minor injuries. Witnesses say there were significant clashes between police and demonstrators. Several protesters were injured by police, at least four were taken to hospital. This afternoon, more anti-NATO protests with a similar message, but organizers distanced themselves from Friday's destruction. We clearly had nothing to do with them. Uh, we as a peace movement intend to uh, demonstrate and protest uh, peacefully. And today, condemnation from Ottawa. What we saw was not peaceful protests. Uh, what we saw was actually violence, hate and anti-Semitism. And this has no place on our streets. Demonstrators deny the claim of anti-Semitism, saying they demonstrated against the complicity of NATO member countries in a war that has killed thousands of Palestinians. In a statement on X, the Prime Minister called it appalling, saying acts of anti-Semitism, intimidation and violence must be condemned, adding there must be consequences and rioters held accountable. Lawful peaceful protests can be uh, co-opted by anarchists who have other agendas. Conservative leader Pierre Polyev blamed Trudeau for the violence in a social media post, saying in part, this is what happens when a prime minister spends nine years pushing toxic woke identity politics. The protests are expected to continue as Canada and its NATO allies face criticism over their handling of global conflicts.